I really, I really wish it wasn't, wasn't an exaggeration. exaggeration. A university, university degree, degree is absolutely not the way, way to start our career in technology, technology particularly, particularly in cybersecurity. Cyber Believe me, I've, I've looked, looked into accreditation, accreditation standards. standards. It's, it's unbelievably, unbelievably arduous and expensive. expensive. Universities don't have the finances to be able to up date their curriculum regularly and still maintain their accreditation status. This means that they're operating on outdated technology. They're teaching you stuff that's decades old. That's not an exaggeration. I have a master's in cybersecurity and we were learning stuff on Windows XP. And this was as recently as 2022. The good news is if you did get your degree in cybersecurity, you can still get a job. The way that you do that is by doing exactly what you would do if you didn't have a degree. Start with your certifications, Network Plus and Security Plus. Learn your foundational skills in Linux, Python, and traffic analysis. Make an e-portfolio, a one-page resume, and apply to a thousand jobs. I've helped over 90 students start their careers in tech. My best student is making over $300,000 a year. Cybersecurity is the opportunity of your lifetime. It's happened before, and then it'll happen again. <laughs> Mr. Bowtie, cyber. Um, no. No. I don't agree. I got a degree in cybersecurity, so I don't agree. And I will say it depends on your school. Now, what he said wasn't a lie. Maybe that was his experience. Um, but the school I went to updates their curriculum based on the skill set that people are looking for today. The school that I went to didn't offer Python when I got my degree, but now it's a course because that's a sought after skill set. So it depends on your school. It depends on the faculty that work at the school. Who's running the school? Are they experienced? Are they in the field? You can absolutely sign up for a program that's going to take you nowhere where you're not going to learn anything, where you're learning things that could be old, but that's on you to do the research, to figure out why you should go to this school. Just like they determine if they want to accept you or not, you need to determine if that's the school that you want to go to, if that's the school you want to apply to or not, and do your research on it. So I don't agree with that. And I was offended that he even said that because I got a degree and look at me now. I ain't gonna lie. I just thought about uh, when you said that. I just thought about uh, the the late great Godfather and his. I got a PhD. I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ain't I ain't ISO the whole episode. Let me ISO real quick. So, bow tie cyber. Um, I say it's a nuance. I will say a degree can only help you not hinder you but i always say try to be smart enough about it i'm of the mindset now based on what i know about the job market i try to tell people if you got no experience whatever let's go around to get you like an entry-level it type of job whatever get to a decent company that may have some benefits where they can do some tuition reimbursement or at least you're getting paid more than you used to and try to pay as least as possible for that degree because that's the one thing that's like the biggest thing is like now like even me like i had a plan like i was at a company where they were supposed to do my reimbursement but then i got laid off so at that point like i already knew the cost was going to fall on me for that masters but i can say that um having my degrees has helped in my career because if, when there's been times to negotiate they all look at my experience, sometimes certifications that look, most of them not current, but then my education. And then they'll compare me to the peers in the role. And it's like, OK, yeah, we can do that on top of interviewing well. So it can help you in the long run. And then if you want to be in like some type of leadership position, if you have some type of higher education that can help you as well. Most of the time, most managers or directors have some type of bachelor's, master's, some got PhDs. So you can see that. But this alternative, in theory, works, but it has to be worked more strategically. I've debunked so many times of him telling people in 90 days, go get a Splunk Core user um, and what he said, Network Plus, Security Plus and AZ900 and build a portfolio with a plot of a thousand jobs. We just saw that how that don't work was and I like how he everybody does this, too his best students make it $300,000, which he's not seeing nine times out of 10, they're possibly overemployed, which is fine, but don't seem like that person went with no experience 
and all of a sudden is getting paid three hundred thousand dollars. That's very disingenuous and misleading because everybody don't have time to get no four or five certs in 90 days. That take a lot of studying. Not only that, if you're getting them that fast, you're not retaining anything. So there are people like the exceptions of the rule do not make the rule. I'll just tell you at that. Like you, there are different ways you can get in. Matter of fact, I've been seeing apprenticeships being a little bit more popular nowadays too. So I would just say it's nuanced. I would say do what works best for you. I ain't gonna tell you not to get some or get something because at the end of the day, you're gonna have to have something to help you stand out. And something that I didn't bring up earlier when we were talking about applying to jobs on LinkedIn. If you use LinkedIn, you know when you go to that company and you're looking for people to reach out to. If you got, if you graduated, went to a certain school, it'll say, "Hey, these people went to your alma mater," and those are people that may refer you to just because y'all went to the same college. Just saying. So all in all, do what works for you, but don't necessarily, don't necessarily like just not say do something just because you don't agree with it. It's many different ways to skin a cat. So yeah. that was that was and my I, take. I would say for me too, I joined the field with no experience. So for me, I personally feel like I couldn't have learned all the information that I learned in two years by myself. I don't. I don't think that would have happened. But someone in the comments said, do you think it would be beneficial to go back and yes, and get a master's in cyber after being in a row? Yes, I do. I wish that I know it sounds crazy, but I wish that I could go back now because things would make so much more sense to me. And I feel like I would gain more value from the program than I did initially, because initially everything was just being thrown at me and not necessarily making the most sense because I had no experience. Um, so I I would say yes in that circumstance. But like you said, school isn't for everybody. That's not the only way. That was just the way that worked for me. Yeah. And then the piggyback off you, because me and her have pretty much the same alma mater.